Well, now we're going to talk about Brady's wheelhouse, sports. Yes, let's go. Okay, but we're going to go into the political side of sports. I always thought Great. sports were not political, oh, but 2024, unbelievable what they've done. Men are now allowed to play women's sports. Yeah. It was a college thing at first, then it became a high school thing. Here I have some footage of a boy playing on the girls' basketball team, but he thinks he's a girl, and he damn near breaks this girl's back while she's going up for a layup. Take a look. Let's see this. Mm -hmm. So we can narrate it. See that, the slam right there? If you look, now look, she can't move. And they're just saying, well, this is a Massachusetts high school. Basketball play is the center of the transgender sports debate. As you can see, the male player, who is more than six feet tall with facial hair, injured three female players before being told to leave. He's killing it. And that's Riley Gaines. She's a swimmer who was stuck in a similar situation She's at the college. She's very good looking. Yeah. She's cute. A man hitting a woman used to be called domestic abuse. Now it's called brave. Who watches this and thinks it's compassionate and inclusive? And these are the tweets. Biological men are naturally stronger and taller. Like, I don't know why we need tweets to figure this out. This is just natural stuff. Uh, I think it's, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if we're going to do this, then we should have it in the in the pro, in the pros too. Because why don't you have it in the NBA? Why don't you have women play with the men then? If we really want, if we want to be, you know, if we want to be politically correct, right? And if now we're all into um, equal rights, quote unquote, right? Have the women play with the guys, and then have the guys play with the women in the WNBA. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Oh, we talked about it on LeBron my show. LeBron James. LeBron to James. That'd also, be great. Everyone's on steroids too. Let's everyone do steroids. Let's also, do. if you want to drink on on the court too, rules don't game, matter. Whatever you want. Whatever you, know, you want. What's funny about that is Taylor Swift, sometimes she'll let make a post like She's great. men are horrible or something like that. And I write, well, not all men. They develop the sewer systems and the air conditioning right. units. And the, I don't see a lot of women crawling around underground or doing the HVAC. So they're not all bad, right? And people go, you're a man, so you need to shut up in this situation. I'm like, why do I need to shut up? When there are men playing girl sports and they at the college and Supreme Court level are like, leave them alone. So I identify as a woman when I argue with Swifties. Just let it be known. Yeah. yeah. They're, now they're going to come after you hardcore. But who knows? <laughs> maybe this might be your most viewed show because of that. That's women on women. Said. All right. So it's not just basketball, Brady. It's also happening in volleyball. Now, it used to be one or two on a team. Now every team is stacking the deck. This yep. volleyball team has three boys on it. So the other team put two on it to Ridiculous. try to level out. And here's the worst part. The girls are all on the bench. Take a look. This female volleyball game that we witnessed earlier featured five men pretending to be females. Three were on Seneca, two were on Centennial. Not only that, the male players were always on the court. Look at the girl. So you had biological female <laughs> substitutes just sitting on the bench Bored. for the entire game. Why are you being disrespectful? Why am I being transphobic? Why am I being transphobic? Why? Shut up. Why? Oh, wow. Answer my question. Did okay. we trigger you? No, you didn't trigger Are me. Are you trans too? Triggered. Do I look trans too? Look at the two Who knows these days? Okay, so why are you what about you characters? You what about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> characters? <laughs> <laughs> what about you two characters? Who's this guy? This guy needs a job of entertainment. Uh, he would be great. But... That's hilarious. Who are you two characters? Two characters. Um, yeah, where do they work after this? In Thailand? I'm just curious. I, How does this work? So I'm just curious, as a sports expert, is this happening in every single sport right now? I think it's what they're pushing, especially in Massachusetts, because Massachusetts has gone liberal, liberal, liberal. Uh -huh. um, it's mostly, it, for some weird reason, it's always the east, strong east coast, like California, or mm. it's like super uh, east coast, um, Boston, like Rhode Island, like you saw in Rhode Island, they're they're pushing for women to be in men's sports and men to be in women's sports hard. Oh, they're trying to blend it all in. Um, but th the problem is not everyone wants to go for this. There's about a 3% of people that want this, and those people are damaged in the head. Crazy. And there's just no way that people are going to go for it. There's 3% want it, but it becomes a conversation as if it's a 50-50 and we're not sure what to do. Right. Uh, I have a uh, question for you guys. I'm going to ask you. Why don't you put in the comments? I want to see the viewers of this show. Put in the comments. Do you think uh, that uh, men should be able to play and women as long as they've gone through the hormone therapy? Or do you believe in science, biology, and that bone structure, mass, lung, capacity, and obviously stamina and uh, the male ability matter. So we're gonna let the people vote, read the comments, that's always the most fun. But there's one more thing, if you are gonna play volleyball against the men, you might wanna get these new products. These are just now available, the Kamala Harris Golden Knee Pads. Because <laughs> you're gonna be doing a lot of sliding on that hard deck. Oh yeah, so. yeah. You're gonna be using both hands too. That's right. For sure. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to the next segment, which is still sports yeah. and still cross.
sports. Mm -hmm. But this woman is actually so good. This is a high school female. She's such a good wrestler. She actually won state in Arizona. Uh, her name is Audrey Jimenez or Jimenez. Jimenez. Jimenez is the first girl to win the Arizona state wrestling title in the boys division. So she vanquished every single guy wrestling. In Arizona. Huh? In Arizona. Interesting. Well, you know, good for her. Yeah. I mean, where does like, I mean, grand scheme of it all, seeing the WWE, right? Yeah. I always wondered, like, people that want to get into wrestling, where does that lead? Right. It, there is a no light. There's no hundred million dollar contract. There is not. So good yeah. for her. That's awesome. I, I look forward to seeing her. In, so if, so people they find the one exception to the rule and go, aha, see, so we're all equal because Audrey Jimenez did it, and right. we're like, hey, 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 you line up a hundred guys and a hundred girls, and. 90 guys are gonna you know 10 girls might be better but so but the whole thing is as a whole this is not, this is an exception to the rule another thing i looked into audrey is a senior right and most boys she wrestled 106 i was gonna say 106 pounds how old do you think the average boy is that's 106 pounds oh, Just freshman barely oh barely yeah Really, yeah. they're getting shoved into the locker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's a bully. She is not a great yeah, woman. Maybe, yeah. She's mean. Yeah, maybe she is. Maybe Jimenez is not a nice person. 18 years old. Name, yeah. yeah, Audrey is kicking. <laughs> Audrey. The, she's the lead bully at the campus. Yeah, so. dude. She's All really right, big. so vote on that for us, too. Is Audrey, is Audrey an amazing testament to women's abilities, or is she a big bully, and 18-year-olds shouldn't be wrestling 14? Because <laughs> I guarantee you, you get an 18-year-old... If she goes to a national championship against men, there's got to be some guys out there. Yeah, many, chomping many, at the bit. Yeah, but here's what I'll do. I will identify as 106 pounds, maybe. And for give sure. Her, uh, let's see where I stand with yeah, Audrey. Yeah, for sure. All right. Now, this is what it has to say. I want to end on this. Audrey Jimenez uh, has become the first female to ever win a high school wrestling state title in Arizona. The 18-year-old from Sunnyside High. By the way, I graduated. I was still 17. So she's older than me at the time. Uh, she's She won the Division One title at 160... 106 pounds. I was going to say 160. Weight, 106 pound weight class. So she wrestled a lot of little twinks. Yeah. Dude. Poor guys, though. That would suck. Now, but also, if it doesn't work out, she could go play volleyball for the Seneca team, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, in wrestling, one of the moves is you're supposed to, like, you know, jam your finger in places to get out of a hole. And uh -huh. with her, I think those men were damned if they do, damned if they don't. If right. they beat her, it's like, what are you doing, bro? And if they lost, it's like, you lost to, uh, you lost to a girl. Yeah, you lost to a girl. You're screwed either way. Yeah, no. not cool. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that short clip. Now, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get all the notifications.